Welcome to the Geo Stove operation video. Make sure you place your Geo Stove at least 12 inches away from any flammable surfaces. Next, make sure there is access to fresh air through a 4 inch vent pipe that is no longer than 3 to 4 feet in length. It is very important that your natural draft is replaced at the same rate it's flowing out your chimney. Remember, the key to burning your geo stove properly is having the correct mixture of fuel and air. There should be no soot or smoke. Next, we will start the lighting procedure. First, turn on your fuel shutoff valve to your diesel tank to allow the fuel to flow to your oil metering valve. Then, remove the cast iron lid and lift the valve reset. Turn the valve on to low and wait 15 to 30 seconds to allow approximately two tablespoons to enter the burner pot. Now twist some tissue or paper into a makeshift wick. Light it and drop it into the burner pot, but make sure it ignites. It is very important that if the flame goes out during the lighting procedure, that you wait five to 10 minutes for the oil and burner to cool down before trying again. Trying to light hot or even warm diesel can be very dangerous. Now replace the cast iron lid to prevent smoke from filling your tent. Then wait one minute and increase the valve by one increment to warm up the stove. From here on in, you'll be checking the flame every five minutes and adjusting your valve setting until you get the right fuel and air mixture. Make sure not to remove the lid completely as this disturbs the airflow and you cannot get an accurate view of what the flame is really doing. Just take a peek and adjust accordingly. At the low setting, the flame will be down in the burner pot and looks something like this. What you want to aim for is the flame burning above the burner ring and producing a nice lemon yellow color with no smoke. This is the optimal running condition that burns clean and produces maximum heat. Never just crank the valve dial to high, assuming maximum heat. All this does is burn your stove too rich and produces soot and smoke along with wasting precious fuel. Not to mention, it's bad for the environment and your geo stove. The key to a perfect flame is to find your range. The Toby valve has a complete range from low to high, which is adjustable with a set screw. But though it seems like you have all this range to use on the valve, you really don't. It actually depends on the viscosity of your fuel. If the weather is warm or the fuel has been sitting in the sun all day, it will be thinner as usual, and you'll need to stick within range one. Within that range, you have an approximate low and high to use. Staying within the range will ensure optimal performance and no smoke or soot. If the weather is average, the oil viscosity is normal. Range two should be good. Again, stay within it for best performance. Range 3 is for colder temperatures and thicker oil. If you are in these conditions more often than not, you should also have a larger pipe running from your diesel tank to your geo stove. As the oil moves easier through a larger pipe when it is thick from cold. A 1 to 2 inch diameter pipe should be sufficient. These are just general guidelines but you will find them very useful in operating your geo stove correctly. Reading the manual will also prove invaluable when operating this equipment. Hope you get many warm nights from your geo stove.